latest on the tropics. We are monitoring that one little area up towards the, the east coast, but overall not a whole lot going on. You see here, here's the Saharan dust that gets here later this week, but more on this little disturbance we're watching. It is at a low pressure. It's non tropical and is tied to this upper level trough. You can see the trough digging down here. So as long as that remains tied to that, it's not even going to be fully tropical in nature, but you see there kind of a low chance of seeing uh, development with that. But other than that, there's not a whole lot going on in the Atlantic. We're not expecting much to go on because there's all that sinking air. There's all that dry dust. Now, something that's different over in the Pacific, it has come to live and it has to do with a larger scale pattern. What's going on way to our uh, way to our west. Now, this isn't going to directly affect us, but the overall pattern, as I mentioned, could and you can see here they're already monitoring three areas for development over the next couple of days. This one now up to medium. And as I mentioned, this is kind of part of the bigger scale of what we might be watching as we go into the beginning of July. So what's happening here? Kind of the overall pattern uh, kind of conducive for tropical development will eventually start to head towards the east and then that could be over the Atlantic by the beginning of July. So maybe start to see a little bit of an uptick in activity as we go into July, at least in the Atlantic Basin. Too soon to know for sure, but just something we'll be watching as we go into the next probably two to three weeks or so. What we're going to be watching though in the meantime is the Saharan dust, all this dry air, this sinking air, this heads towards the west, and that means we're going to start to see the hazy skies as we go into uh, probably Tuesday and then really into the back end of the work week is when we see most of the dust. But you see here 